Hello, my name is Peter Stott of LC Automation and we're putting together some short video uh, for you to show how IAI linear actuators might be used to effectively replace pneumatics in industry. How do we change the positions or the, uh, on the cylinder? Well, we can use this teach pendant. We can also use a, a, a PC based software, but this is a, a reasonable unit to use. So first of all, we'll connect to one of these actuators here. I'll choose the EC rod one. You can tell it's connecting now wirelessly because we get an indication light. And from there, I can go into teach mode. It asks me to confirm that, which I will. And whilst still, if I switch back to manual now, in manual mode, what I can do is I've now got control of this wirelessly by the teach pendant. Because invariably, these cylinders are not laid out neatly on a desk. They are inside a machine, they're perhaps partly hidden, etc. And you need to access them without having to go into the machine and plug into the back of it. So we've got an advantage now. And what we can do now is prove this move. Now from here, what I can do is change positions. So I'll decide instead of a 315 mil stroke, I'll change it to 150 millimeters. Enter that in, transfer it down. And now the stroke is limited to 150. In fact, I could change the, the other starting point as well. It doesn't have to be zero. I'll make that 25 millimeters. Again, enter that in and transfer it. And now we've got a 25 to 150 mil stroke actuator. I could change the speed on it. So currently it's shown in percentage or in fact in, in, in units of uh, millimeters per second, we will choose to leave it as percentages. So I'll say we want to go out at 100% of its available speed, but we want to come back only at 25% of its available speed. Again, enter that down, transfer it, and now we're driving out at its maximum speed, but reversing at a slower speed. At this point, we could, in fact, teach it a position. So I'll give it a target to go up to. It's just a simple little spring unit. If I change this into jog mode, I've got control of, of jog. I can change different speeds, different velocities of jog, but I'll choose 10 millimeters per second. I can then jog that out towards the target. So if it's, this is visible for me to, to see, I can run it right up to contact with it, which is there. Again, now teach it that position. Position set, enter that in, transfer it down. Go back into run mode, test run. And now I'm running back to my 25 mil start, running out to the test piece, either repeatable, it's not going to run out at all, it's going to keep that position through its encoder and its inbuilt controller. Once that is all done, we'll come out of program mode. We're, not, no, we're now not connected on Wi-Fi. I'll put it back into auto. We're now under control yet again from the network. And we're gonna drive it forward, backwards and forwards with the new position and speed settings that we've just put into it.